Russian aviation officials now say the airliner broke into pieces in midair. This is new video of the crash site. A Russian aviation official said fragments of the plane are scattered around seven square miles on the Sinai Peninsula. Right now, nothing has been ruled out as to the cause. But now another international carrier, Emirates Airlines, is rerouting flights to avoid that region. Both flight recorders have been found in the wreckage of that Russian uh, airliner that went down. Reuters says Egyptian officials claim they are analyzing them, but the Russian transport minister claims that work has not yet begun. CNN International, CNN Senior International Correspondent Matthew Chance is in St. Petersburg, the original destination of this flight. So Matthew, um, what do we know about the fuselage or maybe even the history of it? Yeah, well, we don't know a great deal, of course, about what caused this, this tragedy in the skies over the Sinai Peninsula that, that, that caused the death of 224 uh, people. Uh, there's been one sort of statement of, of clarification, the clearest indication we've had so far, from a senior aviation official uh, here in Russia uh, saying that he has seen evidence uh, that the, the aircraft broke up in midair. Uh, and the debris has been scattered over an area more than seven square miles. And so it's a very difficult job uh, for the investigators on the ground in that very desolate and isolated part of the Sinai Peninsula, which is under strict military control, of course, by the Egyptian government, to try and gather up all the small and large pieces of the fuselage to fit them back together again and to try and reach some conclusion as to what exactly happened. The good news, uh, if, if there can be good news in a situation like this, is that both of the flight recorders uh, have been located and found uh, and, and they're going to be analysed soon. And so the, the chances are very high uh, that we're, we're going to get to the bottom of this.